up, we have is the Montpelier Police. This is the 16th annual. No, this is the 16th year that Montpelier Alive. Really, 16? 16. 16th Montpelier Alive. So the first thing we have up here is the Montpelier Police. They begin and end the parade. Montpelier Police Department, guys in blue. And this is followed by the Civil Air Patrol? Okay. The Civil Air Patrol. Uh, I think so. Yep. And we're proud to have the parade uh, led by the Color Guard There's unit. There's the Civil Air Parade Patrol there. The Capital Composite Squadron of the Vermont Wing Civil Air Patrol. And the American Legion, right? Post number three. And VFW post number 792. Okay, got it off. There's the Stars and Stripes. Civil Air Patrol. Nice. All right, well, we're here for the parade, and we just want to let everybody know that if you're going to be in downtown Montpelier tonight, about 9.30, the, uh, the fireworks will be happening. Uh, I think one of the better places to walk is right on the St. Louis lawn. Last year, I, I watched them there, and they were wonderful. Great place. There's some uh, food vendors down there, and you can get some food to eat. This is the, uh, now you, here's the post 792. This is the Veterans of Foreign Wars, post 792. It's a veteran service organization whose mission is to help veterans by providing financial support, fighting for benefits, and helping in any way possible for our veterans. Here's my favorite, the USS Montpelier. Now, my understanding, this is now an attack submarine. People are asking that we go right into the mic, Tony. Right into the mic. Yep. This is the Do Good Fest. Which yeah, is National Life. When is Do Good Fest happening? National Life is July 16th. July 16th. And Big Ed's Pond, the Monsters. Happening up at the National Life Group Lawn. 3 until 9 p.m. Presented by The Point. Looks like it's going to be a great time. Yeah, Brent Dennis going to be there. Yeah. And he's played at the Opera House a few times. Wonderful act. Big Ed Todd is always a good show. What's that? Big Ed Todd is always a good show. Yeah. Coming up right behind us, we have another senator, our second senator, Patrick Leahy. He's got a superhero team with his cloak. Senator Leahy is a big uh, Batman fan. He's wearing a cape today. Yeah, wasn't he in uh, the Batman movie? He's been in a number of them. Yeah. There's his wife right there. And right behind him, we have the Vermont Democratic Party. Wearing some towels. Uh, TJ Dunman, who's running for Attorney General. Right behind them, we have Ashley Hills there. We've got some signs for the Democratic Party, some of their candidates.
after the chase uh, car is uh, Peter Welch. I love Peter Welch. He's, he's a great guy. He just doesn't always follow party lines. He just does the right thing. He does, a, he does the right thing. Women voters and oh, that's Francis, isn't it? Did we miss Francis? Who missed Francis? The Women Voters, great organizational group that gets you one and wants to get you involved in the democracy. We get some better audio now. John says, "All right, we all seem to have our audio problems fixed." Now. This year's parade is coordinated by Rochelle Murphy, who's done a great job here getting us all the information. Who are these kids on bikes? I don't know, but they're all, well, you know, they're wearing you know, the uh, colors. We don't have them on our list, but this is an impressive display of cyclists. They, they snuck in. <laughs> they do the same thing at the Heritage Festival. This is Under River Sports. Under uh, River Sports? Okay. They come in the wrong Hence all the bikes. Are we out of order here? Francis Brooks, Leo and Rotor. Wow, we stepped in. Yeah, we're on the second page here. Fast for this. I know, this is the fastest parade. This parade is going to be over in no time. Have you, were you ever able to do a unicycle? I have never been able to do a unicycle. I can't do that. Can you do it? No. It's just not physically possible. It is. Physics. It is no, it possible. We didn't see it on TV here. This is it's physics just, defying. Just because we can't do it. Yeah. We're getting the word that we have to talk right into the mics. Well, I am talking right into the mic. <laughs> I could go a little closer. Crew has told us these microphones need to be eaten. Eaten. So get your mouth You know right. what we use over at CBTV is we've got those little headsets. Yeah. And that, that way you can eat those. We should try that. You know, I always let you borrow them. All right. And that's what we do with public access. Showing us some bike lists. So let's talk a little bit about, oh, uh, let you know that later today at the State House lawn, Dave Keller Band will be playing before the fireworks, until the fireworks start. So great band. Have you ever heard Dave Keller Band? Yep. Tony? Yeah. I have. It's a good I show. Have. So this is Rob Chapman, my co-host here. He's the executive director of Orca Media. And to my right is... Tony Campos, the executive director of Central Vermont Television, as well as many other hats that he wears. This is the Step in Time, Step in Time Line Dancers of Central Vermont, giving us a little display of some of the choreography that they do. They are certainly stepping in time. Ah, and then we have Washington County Senator Ann Cummings. I don't think that's Ann driving. 
I don't see Anne in the car. What's that? I don't see Anne in the car. But that is a car. Oh, there she is behind. She's looking in the car. Center's coming to walk behind. And Senator Polina. Well, I think we're still on Anthony. Here you go. There's the senator, Senator Anthony Polina of Washington County. Riding a nice car. What, and you like the folks, Miata? The folks are getting riled, people riled here. Senator Polina. He's like Bernie Sanders, spent over 30 years organizing. Yeah. Next up, we have the Vermont Progressive Party of Washington County. Vermont, what is this? Third party. Yeah, Wasn't like that Teddy Roosevelt the, the Bull Moose? He was the original Progressive Party. Yeah. Yeah, I just watched a great documentary on him. Uh, so it was fun to see that in third party in I forget which election it was, but it was Progressive Party. Yeah. Before my time. Oh, well, before both of our times. He spoke in Barry. Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt? Yep. Now uh, here's uh, David Zuckerman for Lieutenant Governor. Senator from uh, Chittenden County who is uh, running for Lieutenant Governor. I think it's a progressive and a Democrat. Covering uh, the bases. David is in the tractor, on the tractor, so you'll see him in just one second. Driving what looks to be a good tractor. I think David is a farmer in uh, Hinesburg. David Zuckerman, a candidate for the Vermont Lieutenant Governor. And here comes the Unitarian Church of Montpelier. They're carrying rainbow flags and signs that say standing on the side of love to indicate that this con congregation welcomes all. Yep. Open and welcoming. This lovingly maintained beautiful church is located at the corner of school and Main Streets in Montpelier and it recently, recently celebrated 150 years. Now doesn't um, Mr. Zorn uh, play there. Arthur? Arthur Zorn. I'm sure he does. I think he does. Yeah. It's a beautiful night here in Montpelier for the parade. I think it's going to be a spectacular night for the fireworks later, too. I know. 75 degrees. We're yeah. in the shade. Picked out a great spot. Hey, do you know what they served um, um, at the, let's see, 1800s, uh, 4th of July? I don't. What did they serve at the 18th? Well, was it hot dogs? It might have been. That's a very popular... Steak? Or turkey? A turtle. Is there. Turtle. <laughs> uh, just because it's there, I'm going to go with turtle. It was turtle. It seems odd enough. It was turtle. It was turtle. Right. Or turtle soup. It was turtle soup. We have now, looks like the rain boom. Let's check our notes here. Trash tramp oh, volunteers. Trash tramp volunteers, yes. They love the group of uh, folks who go around picking up trash and you know. playing We Are Family. That's not Rob Chapman. Oh, uh, this is uh, Senator Doyle. <laughs> Lower thirds were a little slow there. Running the uh, switcher today, we have John Jose. John, thanks for running the switcher for us. Rainbow Umbrella? That's what we're looking at? Yeah. It's a group of adults who are members of the lesbian, gay, Bisexual and transgender community in Central Vermont. Yeah, but I think we I think we have Senator Doyle on now. Senator Doyle in the car. In the car. Hey, Senator Doyle. Just celebrated his 90th birthday. And uh, still going strong. And then we have a candidate for governor. Peter Galbraith, running for governor. Democratic ticket. Very interesting primary happening here in about a month, a little over a month, for the Democratic government, gubernatorial candidate. I think we have all the candidates here in the parade today. Peter being the first one I think we've seen. And uh, right now we have the Montpelier Kiwanis Club. Uh, they meet uh, every Tuesday at 6.15 at the, uh, was it, Steakhouse? Where do they meet? I'll go to their website. <laughs> and 
Hey, here's a replica of this of the state house. That's oh, Kiwanis. This thing's great. This uh, replica of the state house. Oh. Lost the papers. I think it's a replica of the state house. I'm lost the papers. Right? It's not. It's not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Little really, really, really small people live there. And the Kiwanis Pediatric Trauma Institute. All right. Let's see if we can get some of these organized. Here. Well, again. What the, uh, what the coordinator tries to do is put them in order, and sometimes they it happens in Barry. They don't they oh, don't they don't stay in order. I've told the crew that the, the st that things will change. Lower thirds will be slow. We, we do our best. Right, and in Barry, it's not carved in granite. I tell them, it changes. Ah uh, uh, yes, the Barry jokes. Oh, no, they're great Barry jokes. Especially from up there, we get to make Barry jokes all the time. Oh yeah, well you know what? <laughs> hey, you got the biggest joke of all. What's that? The politicians. Oh, yes. uh, the Gary home. What do we know about the Gary home? Where are we? I think we're on page three or four. Oh, there goes the Gary home. There, completely out of order now. Westview Meadows. Meadows. Yes, Westview Meadows. Quirky pet coming up here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Do you know what breed of dogs those are, Tony? What's that? Do you know what the breed of that dog? No, is? I do not. But I would hate to brush um, it. One of our camera operators is on his phone. Oh, he was texting. <laughs> Probably texting with our content manager. All right, so we're, uh, we're on the fife and drum, right? It sounds like a fife and drum. This is this Seth Warner. Looks like the Seth Warner. Seth Warner Mount Independent Fife and Drum Corps. A long time Montpelier Parade favorite. Well, I love the Fife and Drum. They're really good. This is not the Seth Warner. This is the Hannaford's one. Really? Yes. It says Hannaford's. Yep. And I remember seeing the Hannaford's one on the list here, which is just not doing it. Great, don't they? You're right. Okay, anywhere. This is the Green Mountain Self Advocates. It's a disability rights group. A wonderful organization. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words Green can last forever. Advocates. A wonderful group. They came to spoke to uh, Rotary uh, last month. The Japan America, uh, the, the Japan American Social Society of Vermont. Look at those outfits. Beautiful colors. It's a non-political, non-profit volunteer organization. Membership is open to anyone seeking better understanding and interaction between Japanese and Americans. Here comes the Vermont Mountaineers. That was the Vermont Mountaineers. Always uh, great to catch some baseball up there. Great hot dogs. Evenings. Uh, evening. Great venue. You guys do a great job. We, we, when we were in Portland, uh, Maine, we went to the Sea Dogs, and that's a farm team for the Red Sox. Oh, yeah? B-level. So... Do they play the Mountaineers? I don't think they do. Yeah. I think uh, they are... Uh, These are collegiate players. Yeah. New England Collegiate Baseball League. 13 seasons. I always think of Field of Dreams when I go down to that ballpark and watch the Mountaineers. And what's the cost to get in? About two dollars? Yeah, how much? Yeah, two dollars to you bring your whole family down. Great parking, great venue. Yeah, it's great. There isn't a bad no, seat. What's essential? Now Dexter. Dexter's up next. Running for uh, Washington County 
state representative, I think. Yep. Extra Lefebvre. I think he's the only Republican, so he's going to be on the ballot. They're pointing because they, they see the cameras. Yep, there, there's the camera. Yeah. <gasps> oh. My other favorite restaurant in my period is Sartucci's. Sartucci's. Consistently good. On Main Street in Montpelier, it takes pride in friendly service and sensational Italian fare. Riverside seating. They've been Local on the show. Organic produce. They do a great job. They've been on the show. On your New, show. New England Cooks, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. We always try to find restaurants that are consistently good as well as uh, fair price yeah. using local products. And there's the owner. And there's, uh, you know, uh, Venice. Should be singing. Start two cheese. Now it's, uh, you know about this uh, school that's coming up next? The Montessori School of Central Vermont provides a leaning, a learning environment, I think that's what supposed to say. Employing the philosophy and met methods of Dr. Maria Montessori. And it's uh, children's ages, what? 15 months to 12? Age 12, yeah. Wow, start them young, 15 months. Well, you know how important that early childhood is. I don't know. I, they, they kicked me out. Of, I, I it was no, never it's, there. It's a very important development in time in people's lives. Hey, you think, you, you think about when I grew up in the 60s. They had none of this. No, no. You know? But it's glad to see that there's at least some recognition for just how important those early years are for our kids. I think we got Froggy coming up here next. Set That's the FM on. radio. Home for today's country music. It says 10 in a row every hour here on my sheet. Yeah, really. You like country music, music, Tony? I, you know, I, I listen to uh, Country's Road, uh, Willie's Roadhouse. On Froggy? No. It's in, Where's that? On Sirius. Uh, are you serious? I'm serious about serious. Totally serious. River Rock School. Progressive, independent, state-recognized day school for ages 5 to 14 in Montpelier. Handcrafted education in a multi-age setting, creating a caring learning environment based on respect for each individual. Some great private schools here in Central Vermont. I know. And River Rock is one of them. Seen any candidates for governor yet? Peter Galbraith. Next up, we have Sue Minter. She's running for governor. She's a Democrat, correct? She is a Democrat from Waterbury. Can you spot the candidate? She must be in the car. You think she's in the car? Great supporters out here for Sue. That must be her running with the white slacks on the other side of the road. A wonderful parade put on here by Montpelier Live. Some great staff here. Carolyn Gradinsky was the vendor coordinator. Jessica Ball was the volunteer coordinator. Coordinator. Marietta De Felice, State House Lawn Coordinator, and Lyndon De Salvo, Recycling and Zero Waste Coordinator. Well, fact, Lynn Sizz, who's the Montpelier Live board member, is not here today because she's representing Vermont at the Senior Olympics in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Well, Tony, have you seen this list of sponsors? I have. I have. I mean, <laughs> what do we got? We Vermont got State Employees Credit Union, National Life National Group, National Life Group, uh, Community National Bank's a first-time underwriter this year. Berlin Optical Expressions, Union Mutual of Vermont, Montpelier Pharmacy. What do we got? We got. Uh, Kim Swayze. Yes. 
Kim Swayze is a candidate for something. What's Kim running for? Uh, the Washington Five. There's a lot of the Washington Five. It's an open seat this season, this year. So many candidates for the Washington Five, including right now Kim Swayze. Retired uh, from the Army. Yeah. Served. Got some Miss Vermont. Some pageant winners coming up here next, Tony. They do some scholarship programs for these young women. Riley Field is Miss Vermont this year. Cars were supplied by Cody uh, Chevrolet, I believe. Yeah. Some younger ones. They have a bunch of them. They have Miss Vermont High School, Miss Vermont Junior High School. Miss Vermont Collegiate, Miss Northeast International, and Miss Vermont International. That's a lot of pageants. I know. Holy cow. All right, we were getting through some of our sponsors here, Tony. Let's see. Well, no, we have the Do or Die. Salon. Salon. Now, we're not, we're not spelling die, D-I-E. No, of course not. Now, when you say salon, you dye your hair D-Y-E. Right. Very creative. And not DYI. You go to Do or Die Salon. Do or Die. <laughs> and they're what? Located right here in downtown Barrie? Yep. On River Street. Downtown Barrie? No, I'm sorry. Downtown. I'm sorry, folks. I thought I was in Barrie for a second. I thought I was in Oz. <laughs> oh, no. Tony. Here they are waving. Beautiful hair. Yeah, so when Rob, Rob, when you called me, I thought you were looking for my co host. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. Ma and yeah. Moms across America. It's a national coalition of unstoppable moms. They are arching, marching with supporters from the, around the country to say thank you, Vermont, for labeling GMOs. Moms obviously very interested in what goes into their kids' mouths. Will Miller? Yes, the Green Mountain Veterans for Peace. Actually, I, I used to, uh, Will's passed away, but I met him when he was doing a show at Channel 15 in Burlington when I was working there at VCAM, and they do a show at the Green Mountain Veterans for Peace. Uh, and when Will passed away, they decided to name that uh, after Will. A wonderful man, served his country, a great organization, watching out for our veterans. Anything they might need. I think you can go to their website, which is... Uh Committed to the cause for peace. Dot org. Hmm? So I think it's a dot org. Their their website? Yeah, I believe so. Yep. Okay. Welcomes all peace minded veterans in Vermont. Would like to abolish Empire and War. Now is this the Midnight Capers coming up next? See? I don't know. We're out of order again, folks. They seem like they're into something. Shap Smith, running for lieutenant governor. Everyone knows Shap is the uh, leader of the House of Representatives these past few sessions, but he's now attempting to move up to lieutenant governor. Now this next group is Let's Grow Kids? Yes. It's a great organization. It says that every child deserves a strong start and equal chance in life. Let's Grow Kids is a public awareness and engagement campaign about the important role of high quality child care. Now. Play in supporting a healthy environment. All together now, puppet troop? This is a puppet troop. Oh, this is great. The All Together Now Puppet Troop. Celebrating our interdependence with all of life. Our theme this year is Carnival of the Animals. Look at those puppets. Look at that. Yeah, so what I was saying earlier was, Rob, when you called me, I thought you, you said, I thought you wanted cables to borrow. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was saying, yeah, I got some cables for you for the no, broadcast. No, Tony. I wanted your mouth. <laughs> 
No, no, you said I wanted some talent, so I immediately thought you wanted my co-host, Carol Day. Who is very talented. Very, very talented. Yes. That woman can talk. You can talk too, Tony. No, nah, but she, uh, she... Can you read this list of sponsors? Oh, no, I think we have, I, I think we have another politician coming up the road. We've got the Green Mountain Sound and Entertainment as a sponsor, Onion River Sports, Cody Chevrolet, Dennis Ricker, and Brown. Work Media is on the list. Hunger Mountain Co-op. Downs Racklin and Martin, Casella Waste Management, Julio's Cantina, Vermont Compost, Bear Pond Books, Gossens, Bachman Architecture and Design, Betsy's Bed and Breakfast, and Bob Sunoco. Right, Bruce Lisman's out there. Yeah, Bruce Lisman is coming up. He's running for governor. Reverend Republican. Go, yep, Republican candidate for governor. Uh, He's come to spoke to a couple of rotary groups. Yes. Looks like he's got some water for the folks. And Coming up with the truck. Oh, he's got to look at this. This is Bruce's truck. A Close. new direction pointing yep. up. Yep. Oh, yeah, now, here comes the um, so central model. get out there. Do you know when the primary vote is? No. August, second week of August, I think. Second week August, oh. 11th or 12th. Central Vermont, uh, all state, Little Leaguers. Oh, yes. Nice job, guys. And it looks like another Cody vehicle. They're all excited. Carrying the players. Central There's the dads. The -Stars. There's the dads. This is John Peterson driving a beautiful car, Ferrari, it looks like. And then right behind him is John Mayer, who's driving his antique 1931 Model A Ford. With a rumble seat. We went from the Ferrari to the Model A Ford. Which one got better gas mileage? I don't think I've been in either one. I never had the chance to drive one. Now I think we have Matt Dunn coming down the road now. We do want to do a shout out to the Montpelier Fire Department for putting up all the bunting in downtown Montpelier for this parade. Great job, guys. There's Matt Dunn, running for governor, Democrat. As we mentioned earlier, Governor Shumlin's stepping down, so there's an open election now for to replace him. So it's a very exciting parade where we get a lot of candidates here. You know who gets a lot of candidates? Northfield. Do they? Northfield. Why? Northfield, their parade. They're their well, parade? their Labor Day parade. Oh, their Labor Day parade. They get more than the Montpelier Independence Day parade? I think so. No, they don't. I think so. No, they don't. I think so. to one microphone now. What's that? They said take take the second microphone away from Tony. Why? Do you hear me double? I don't know. I just do what the crew tells me to do. Jessup? Jessup is running for that House of Representatives in Washington 5. Washington County 5. That's that open seat. Tony Klein stepped down and now we have I think six or seven candidates for that open seat in the State House. And that was Kimberly Jessup. This is Keisha Ram. Keisha Ram, another candidate for lieutenant governor. Number of folks trying to run for lieutenant governor. Now, how are you pronouncing? Shadia African Culture Project? Shadia? Dia. Great drum. I love drums. I love particularly African drums. And these guys have got some rhythm going down and some dancing going on. They're Shadea. promoting, um, uh, what is it? They conduct West work. Africa culture? Yep. Through drumming, dance, fabric, printing, drum making, beating, and cooking.
Baguitos. Do you know what kind of car that is, Tony? What's that? Do you know what kind of car that is? Oh. Is that a Karma Gia? You think? I think it is. It's got butterfly and wings. They're always parked out in front of Baguitos and here in downtown Montpelier. Great place to get burritos or bagels. And here's Buddy the Clown. 2013 Buddy created the one of a kind bubble car that he's equipped with music, air horns, underglow, and more. Buddy the Clown. Now this is uh, Car Share Vermont. Boy, you're fast. I can't even get it out. I'm fast. It's a great organization where you share cars so we can reduce our carbon footprint. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, do a Google search. Car Share. Of course we've done. Of course we've done such a great job here in Vermont about car sharing, car pooling, that they had to raise the gas tax. Because there was less revenue. <laughs> Good job, folks. Yeah. Now we're at Energy Independent Vermont. It's a growing coalition of environmental organizations, Vermont businesses, and business associations, academic leaders, low income advocates, and town energy committees. Followed by dedicated to energy independence. And right behind them is. Oh, early. Okay, waiting for you. Uh, running for guess what? Washington Five. Okay. House of Representatives. At East Montpelier and, and Middlesex. Do we have any info on Ginny? No, I just read the sign. Oh, and here comes Scott Milne. Ah. Uh, now, for the Senate. Yeah, he almost he, he almost uh, uh, won. Out Shumlin, yeah. Yeah. That was uh, a nail biter for Peter. Scott Millen, who is now setting his sights on United States Senator. Yep. Is that Leahy's seat? Yeah, he's going after Leahy's seat. Yep. And he's not going to spend a lot of money. He's just, he's going to, you know. Scott Millen. It's not about the money. It's not about, you know. Oh, my right goodness. Mr. Millen is Charlie O's. World famous Charlie O's in here in downtown Montpelier. Still a dive for nice people. Is that what it says? Yeah, I was reading the script. I didn't know. Is it okay to call a place a dive bar? Well, they gave us, they told, they told us it's still a dive for nice people. Yes. When we were off camera, I'll tell you my Charlie O's story back in 1980. Why off camera? Well, you. you just, I think they can still prosecute. I think the, the folks at home want to hear this story. I think they can still prosecute. Just as much as I want to hear. All right, so it was a dark July evening at Charlie O's, and everything was going smoothly until, oh, here's the next uh, car coming down the road. What do we have? I think it's TD Bank. TD Bank? Yeah. Well, I just got to say the Charlie O outfits are very nice for the ladies to be wearing. Is there a polka, polka dot name for that print? Polka dot. Polka dot. I love my little red uh, polka dot. Pitsy polka dot. Yeah. All right, here's a TD Bank van. TD Bank van and a mascot. Now, what is that mascot? I, I was just going to ask you the same question, Tony. I don't know. You know, I would think it's, uh, it's a logo. cheese wedge. I think, I think it's a logo that's been transformed into a mascot. Hey, but do, geez, you, do you I think like it works? This. Cheese wedge works for me as well. Yeah. And she's also carrying a hula hoop. Now, it was fo immediately followed by a car with a canoe on it. <laughs> and with a teddy bear in the front of the car. I think they're part of the TD Bank group. I don't know. What does the canoe stand for? I think it stands for communion with nature, uh, getting out and see wonderful recreational venues and lakes and rivers that we have here in Vermont. Could be, or he just snuck in. Pure speculation on my part. Yeah, so. it, is probably, it could have just snuck right in. Or it could be just somebody trying to make a left turn. 
<laughs> he couldn't make a left turn. I think they're part of the TJ Bank. I think they have to be, yep. they, you know? Yep. Because there's more TD Bank, and they're throwing candy. Oh, candy. Which you ate the only prize we had. We had I a piece of candy. You won the prize, you took the prize. I did. Montpelier Elks, what do we know about the Montpelier Elks, Dunny? Well, the Silver Tower Camp is for people with disability. Uh, and I think they're having their national conference out west this, this week. But the Elks do a, a lot for the communities. Uh, you know, we have one in every community has an Elks yeah. club. And Silver Towers is a great organization. Because yep. Elks care. And there goes Rob again. And there the kids are throwing out candy. We're followed by Lieutenant uh, Governor Scott Mill. No, it's Phil Scott. I mean, it's Phil Scott, excuse me. I, can, I turned it around. I had that thing. I turned things around. Phil Scott is our Lieutenant Governor. He is current, also a candidate for Governor. So he's going to be hoping to get your vote for Governor. Uh, local boy is right around from around here. Yeah, he's been uh, you know riding up a Thunder Road for years. Yep. And he's, uh, yeah, he is a race car driver too, isn't he? He is, and you know when uh, um, the governor's out of state, he's he, he runs the state, doesn't he? Yeah, so Phil can't race. Ah, that's true. He that's can't right. race. And riding the car is Riley Halbert. She's two and a half from Williamstown. What? Where's Riley? She's right uh, in the in, in in the truck where she was. Ah. Look at these vehicles. Or she might be. In one of the other vehicles. Well, we have a, well she oh, might. She's in the cow. She's in the cow, which is um, mark number 14. That's Phil's number? That's Phil's number at Thunder Road. How come he's not taking the race car under the. Too loud. Yes. But he's got a number of vehicles with him. I mean, we got one, two, three if you count the car, the cow, four, yeah. five, six vehicles. Some wonderful, wonderful vehicles. It's from this classic 1929 Model A Ford to this, that's a F-350 truck. Well, you know, I think he has a larger entourage than Bernie D uh, Sanders had. And, well, look at the motorcycle that's on the truck. A World War II replica. Dedicated to the United States Army, World War II. Look at that classic motorcycle. And then the big truck. CC's truck service pulling some musicians. Lieutenant Literally, he, said he, he has a larger entourage than Bernie Sanders. Bernie was just walking by himself. With uh, the uh, Secret Service. That was it. Yes. Well, Bernie's running for president of the United States. Oh, uh, yeah. I think the governor of Vermont gets one state trooper. Oh, wait. And another vehicle. I don't think I counted that. Is that a bus? We have a oh, it's a mobile campaign office with Lieutenant Governor Phil Scott. Randy Brock, a candidate for Lieutenant Governor. Randy's a decorated veteran, served in the Vermont Senator and a state auditor. Looking for your vote for Lieutenant Governor. Oh, Rob, this has been interesting. It has. It's not over yet, Tony. Oh, you got a few, but you know, we got some you know, downtime. Oh, uh, now we have what? Uh, ben Kaplan? Ben Kaplan running for state representative. Washington County 5, I believe. Young man, I think. Just graduated high school. Wanted to get into politics, looking for your vote. So you're saying this is interesting, Tony? I love this a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, a parade is fun. And you know, we're live, so we can't stop. We can't we, yell cut. Oh, I see. You're you're glad to be here live with you folks watching tonight's 
2016 Independence Day Parade live from Montpelier, Vermont. The capital of the Vermont. The capital of the state of Vermont. Which has no McDonald's. And proud of it. And proud of it. You have to go to Berlin for that. Barry Montpelier Road. Barry Montpelier Road. Not too far. It's kind of neutral co uh, co uh, uh, country from Barry and Montpelier. Yeah. Orchard Valley School. Another private school here in central Vermont. I believe this is the Waldorf School. Yes, Orchard Valley Waldorf. Did you find out where we are on the list, Tony? No, there I don't. We are. Oh, we're on the last page. Look at that. Child's Garden and Farm and Forest School, Orchard Valley. Doing some nice puppet work. The kids, and it looks like we have some street hockey. Oh, that's coming after the school. We have the that's Central Vermont Skating Association providing instruction and coaching to Central Vermont youth. Are you good on skates, Tony? No. I used to be when I was in second grade, but I don't want to do it now. Uh, I know. I need, uh, I need a lot of padding. Now, followed by the Mount Sinai Motor Corps, another, yeah, the Shriners, supporting the Mount Sinai Hospital, which is free for all children. Did you have a go-kart when you were a kid? No, but I dreamt about it. I dreamt about it every day. I would get the Sears catalog. Uh, yes, exactly. You'd look at those, see how much you could buy them for, think about what, how much fun you'd have driving that go-kart around. Exactly. Sears catalog. Yep. Turn to that page. Yep. I would rip it and have it underneath my pillow. It's too bad kids don't see the Sears catalog anymore. I know. Now it's all Amazon.com. Certainly missing out. So these guys are actually running up and down over the original motorcore vehicle. Do you think we could do that, Rob? I'd like a chance to try. Put it on your bucket list. It's on my bucket list. Again, they support the Shriners Children's Hospital, which is, I believe, free for all children. Yeah, I think so. I can never be a Shriner. It's funny. I mean, not all I know about the Shriners is the little go-karts. Ah, yeah, but they also have a marching unit. They have a motorcycle, Harley Davidson. And they have hospitals for children. Right, that's what they do. They raise... Yeah. That is very commendable organization. Coming up on some of our last floats here, Tony. It's been a wonderful parade. How long? I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to say this is probably about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Probably about that, maybe 40 minutes total. 40 minutes? Yeah. With our banter? Our banter, because we're going to have to, you know, talk a little bit at the end and say thank you. Why? Oh, we have to people. thank the crew thank and the people. sponsors. Yeah. I have to thank you again. We have to thank the Resurrection Baptist Church here. They have volunteered to help remove the trash from the parade route. And they're doing it right now. Yep. They come up at the end and they collect the trash. I think they just grabbed one of your cameramen. Bagged him, tagged him. Tagged him. We need him. We're not done with him yet. I know. On camera with this evening, we have Matt Svensson, who's been running the camera for Tony and I, and special guest star cameraman from California, Merrill Witham, back for a few weeks helping out at Orca Media. So he's going back to California? We've tried to get hard to convince him not to, but his drum set's there, so he has to go. Okay. So ends another exciting parade. It was an exciting parade, so festivities are going to continue in front of the State House. Dave Keller Band is going to be playing, as well as the fireworks, which is a great show to catch so uh, it's not over yet folks it's a wonderful Independence oh, Day but, celebration put on by Montpelier Alive but if you're watching this on Tuesday it's over it's over so yes if you're watching on Tuesday you've missed it you missed it okay I, I had to point that out to you know the true that's the thing about live television yeah, yeah I know it's well, only live when it's happening and who put together this list Rochelle Murphy and you already thank her we can thank her again. And all the volunteers. So that's that's up all on the Montpelier. There's a lot of work that goes to put on a parade of this size. A lot of volunteers. 
the police department, the fire department, uh, the staff, the, uh, and the people who are making the floats, obviously. Uh, it's a fantastic night, a uh, beautiful night for um, a parade here in Montpelier. Uh, and uh, anybody else we have to thank? We did the sponsors, right? We talked about the people who are on the staff. We talked about the police. We talked about Montpelier Live. The 16th year that Montpelier Live has coordinated these festivities here in Montpelier, downtown Montpelier. So, All right, can I do one more trivia? We have one more trivia question. Give it to me. All right. I'm going to close my eyes because I haven't looked at the list. All right. Uh, America's 4th of July celebration is also celebrated in the following. A, England. B, Canada. C, Mexico before we build the wall. Or D, Denmark. I'm going to go with my strategy of picking the odd one out so it's Denmark. This guy is good. I am good. Gosh. You cannot beat me in Trivial Pursuit. All right. Uh, Benjamin Franklin. The turkey. Darn! <laughs> Which president died on Independence Day? Two of them did. Thomas it was Jefferson, Jefferson and Adam? John Adams. Which, one, right, was born? Guy, Which one was born on Independence Day? Uh, it's not Adams. on your sheet. No. Jefferson. No. You. No. One U.S. president was born on the 4th of July. Bob? I'll give you a hint. He was from Vermont. Taft? Taft is not from Vermont. He's not? No. Oh, he was the big guy who couldn't fit in the bathtub. That's right. <laughs> hey, you don't know the two presidents from Vermont? Oh, I forget. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'll tell you the one that's not born on the 4th of July and that nobody remembers. Okay. Chester A. Arthur. No one liked him. No one liked him. Well, he's forgotten historically. But in the 20th century... I, I'm totally drawing a blank. From Plymouth, Vermont? I could never do a uh, 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 f- family feud or any of those. Bob? <sighs> Calvin Coolidge. Calvin! Oh, yeah, the Calvin Coolidge. Huh? Born on the 4th of July. Everyone liked him. Tony, yeah. thanks so much for helping me out. Rob, thank you. This is fun. Anybody has seen Ashley, we're looking for her. She was going to help us. So, Ashley Witzenberger. Oh, she was probably busy. Calling with Ashley Witzenberger. Uh, my thanks to the crew and for helping set up. Uh, Meryl and Matt and John and Adam was there. And uh, Jackie's been giving us notes from her sick bed at home. Oh, she's sick? She's been... Tangling with pneumonia. So oh dear, that's out. serious. Yeah. So, so go to bed, Jackie. The show's over. Well, I'll take care of rescheduling the thing. Thanks everybody. Good night and have a happy fourth. Good night. Happy fourth.